this one is about to begin. And oh! Shao Kahn instantly hits one hellacious spear on Kratos, but Kratos catches the kick. And this fight is on. As they trade dragon screws back and forth. It is funny, they they decided to go with the official New Japan rules for this, and there's a lot of dragon screws going on. You see that in Japan. A lot of sore knees to work. Just ask Chris Jericho. He infamously had a match with Tanahashi, who hit so many dragon screws <clears throat> that Jericho's knee actually swelled up on him, which was horrible. It's like Kratos finally got the better of that exchange. Kratos infamously in one of the Mortal Kombat games, so is actually no stranger to Shao Kahn, but it has been a while. After all, when he last faced Shao Kahn, he had just recently slain his father, Zeus, the king of the gods. But now, after many years, he's become a father. He's become a much better fighter. But will it be enough to defeat the Emperor of Outworld as he hits the jumping knee? That's a huge signature. Going for a pinfall now. One and a kick out. Shao Kahn is beside himself. But he has more tools in the bag. Like the Famouser that he just randomly hit. That running leg drop to the back of the the head of Kratos who is unfazed of course then again he is part god so it's going to take a lot to keep Kratos down Shao Kahn is going to try his damnness to try and, and it starts with this right here a huge DDT attempt to the apron, the hardest part of the mat. That has to hurt. Kratos catches the kick and trips him. Shalkon has him by the scruff of the neck. Jams him into the barricade. Beautiful. Nice jawbreaker by Kratos. Oh, who gets Shalkon with a massive elbow. Who's unfazed as he just tosses Kratos aside. And he hits him with Shalkan has him up. What a huge slam! And then the kip up. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, throw him in the ring post. Now throws him back into the ring. Nice elbow. Back and forth. Shao Kahn has him down. Going for a pinfall. The one, the two. It can't be that easy. Oh, misses the stomp. Catches the kick. Kato has him, but Shao Kahn. Oh, another one this time. Looks like he might have cut Kratos' face open. And now has him by the throat, choking him, but Kratos the boss. Bell clap. Throws him into the ropes. Catches. Oh! Now Shao Kahn has Kratos on the ropes. And by the scruff of the neck, as he tosses him into the corner. And the referee foolishly getting in the way. 
punches. And the throw. Now stalking Shao Kahn. This could be the end. Oh, he's got him in the choke. The choke. But he lets him go. Going for the pinfall now. Kratos looks a little bit in disbelief, but now going for the repeated headbutts. Oh! Hoping to bash his skull in enough that it keeps him down for the one and the two and the kick out again. Kratos is furious. Shao Kahn will not stay down, and now he is demanding he get back up on his feet as he mounts his Omega comeback. And the back body throw. Followed by the spine buster. And now going for perhaps more headbutts as he stalks his opponent. One, two, three, and four. And now more headbutts. Five, that's 11 headbutts in a row. This could be it for the Emperor of Outworld. The one, the two, and the kick out. Kratos is furious. He's demanding that was a three count. That was a three count. That was a slow count, ref. And now Shao Kahn stalking Kratos. Oh, and he has the choke. He's choking the life out of the God of War, and that's it. That's the end of the match. That's it. That's the end of the match. He's done. Scorpion now funny thing is 
Jared Leto's Joker here wasn't even scheduled to appear on this pay-per-view at all, but he somehow swindled his way in when his teammate, so to speak, <clears throat> the Ledger version, actually won a spot in this tournament after the Leto version lost his spot. And, uh, well, he just told him, give me your spot. And so, he obliged. And here we are. Scorpion here, uh, successfully taking back his best in the world championship earlier in the evening before this tournament began. And, uh, gotta feel good for him. A lot of momentum going into this one. He has taken a bit of a beating, but you gotta imagine he's gonna come back as he's got one goal in mind to make Jericho's life a living hell ever since Jericho took that title away from him that's been lost after loss, so he needs it's it's time for some avenging. As he's getting thrusted in the corner by Jer Jared Jared Jericho here. As he's got the boot on him. Ooh, in the vibrations, do you feel it? As he stomps him away and walks away like a G. Stomps in, going for a curb stomp here. Stop seeing Ryan on the back of the head. He's going for a pinfall, one and the two, but no, not even a two count. It ain't gonna be that easy. But Scorpion also just simply wants to be the king of hell. But the king is crying. The king of Gotham. He wants more power. As he hits a super flex of Scorpion all the way to the outside. And the crowd chants. This is awesome. I can't agree with you enough. But that a little terrible. I'm sorry, folks. Again, I gotta tell you. I'm feeling this sinus infection. Ooh! Hits it with the sister Abigail. This could be it. One, the two, the three. He moves on. I don't believe it. That's it. Just lights out. He weaseled his way in, and now he takes on Shao Kahn. I thought we were going to see a uh, Mortal Kombat rematch, but no. That superplex the outside was almost all it took to finally put out, you know, Scorpion. Here is your winner, the, the gangster, gangster King Joker. Or losing his mind. Low battery. Not very good with people.
Earth Ball. The White Ranger. And it is on. As Maul hits a deed. <clears throat> Very good. Beautiful flight kick. Feet. Diving hits an elbow on him. Very nice. Very well tried. He tries to pick the White Ranger up, but no, he clubs him on the back. Nice roundhouse by Maul. Ooh, as the White Ranger hits a nice ball. This is an actual martial artist here, but so is Mark. He's a classically trained Sith. Using martial arts and swordsmanship to win all his duels. But since those type of weapons are obviously illegal, he is just here using his ability as a martial artist. Which beautiful catch on that kick there. Back and forth as Maul now hits the wheelbarrow kick. Ooh. But he catches that kick right into a power bomb on the outside. That is definitely a difference maker as he throws him into the rail. Into the guard railing there. Lifts him up and gets him on there. And oh, kicks him in the head. As the referee counts away. Up to a count of 17 now. The White Ranger better hurry up. 19. He's in. And now he's grabbed Maul. Oh, German suplex lands him right on his neck. Holy cow. Now nails him with the European uppercut. But Maul fires back with a snapmare. Ooh, but catches an elbow to the face for his troubles. Oh, with the flying kick from the White Ranger connects. As he now hits the moon salt. Beautiful athleticism here on display. As he hits a spinning side kick and then a lower kick. And then a kick to the gut, a headbutt, a punch. Now he's stalking him. We've seen this before. He's taking him for a ride. And that ride is called a drive by. Boots to the face. Calling Maul to his feet. Jumps up for a springboard, but... Oh! Gets him with the backstabber. It's a nice roll into the ring, right into the backstabber. And now, going for the yes lock, also known as the Amaplata. Maul with nowhere to go. What's he going to do? Will he surrender? Stalking Maul. Spins Tornado Kick to the face. That's got to be the end. That's the end of Maul. One, the two. Oh, he kicked out. White Ranger can't believe it. But Maul is a fighter. The more he hates you, the stronger he is. He is not giving up, though, as he hits another one. Jesus. That's. That's got to be it. That's that's the match in the way here, folks. Two and the three count as he goes on to the next round.
This one, pure and simple, it's Kane vs. Brock Strowman. Braun Strowman is the current Gar Gates of Hell champion as he took it from Lord Zed not too long ago to earn his spot in this tournament. As right now he's showing exactly why he belongs to be here as he just tosses Kane like a sack of potatoes. Nice DDT from Kane. A return to Cinder, so to speak. This is now cranking the neck. Cranking the neck again. As he slams his head right on the mat. Strowman, ooh, uppercut, and hits him. Now he has him, ooh, the backbreaker. Drag him into the center of the ring. Foot on his chest, oh, and just walks over him. But Kane catches the kick, ooh. Remember, this man defeated not just Satan, but Brock Lesnar getting into this one. Now he's crawling to the top. Oh! Strowman catches the axe handle and hits the backbreaker. Very nice uh, classic Randy Orton move there. Now he's in the corner, but oh! Seems he was just playing possum. Oh, now Strowman may get him pay for it. Back and forth. Irish whip by Kane. And the big boot. Connects. And now his foot connects with Kane's face. As Strowman gives Kane the Irish whip to the rope. And now just beating the hell out of him. Just pulverizing Kane in the corner. Jesus. Again and again. Now Kane shows him off. Goes for the boot. But... Strowman catches it, picks him up, spins him around, the power slam. That could be all she wrote for Kane. Kane kicked out at two. Strowman is in disbelief. I guess he's just going to have to hurt Kane more. Kane reverses with the clothesline. Now picking Strowman up. Punches him and now hits him with the giant iron claw looking to squeeze the melon of Strowman. Could this be the end? Braun Strowman struggling, but he's got him. He's pulling his arm away. And oh, shows him off. Team blocking the attempt. Picking him up for a, what appears to be a tombstone, but Strowman counters with a tombstone of his own.
Sherman throws him into the corner. Kick. Oh, he's taking him for a ride. This is not a good place for Kane. Drive by kick. As the referee begins his count. Not that Strowman will need it. Going for the pinfall now. The one, the two, and the kick out by Kane. Strowman demanding that it was a three, but the referee said no. Kane now has him for the tombstone properly this time and nails it. One, two, the kick out. He's hitting with everything but the choke slam. Here it is, folks. He's going for it. Arm cocked and ready. Has him by the throat. There it is, the choke slam. Is it enough to keep the monster among men down? The one, the two, the three count. That is it. Kane's going off. Right, and this one is about to get underway. Is it Shao Kahn who goes for a spear but catches the leapfrog from Jared Leto, who then catches the oh, the combination and then the knee from Shao Kahn. This one is nothing but fast and furious as Jared Leto's Joker hits the kick and the clothesline, getting Shao Kahn in the corner. And now another kick as he is springlording over the top rope to a leg drop. Fast action right out the gate. Good lord, not even a minute has passed. That was in an epic 30 seconds. Oh! Shao Kahn hits the clothesline. And the knee drop. Ooh, good low, getting good at that. Oh! Shao Kahn seems to, uh, I don't know who hurt who there. Looked like he crashed in his knee. That's what I saw. Joker. More knees to the abdomen. Finally bringing the Emperor down as he runs to the ropes. And, ooh, another knee, but this time to the face. Punch to the stomach, the rake of the eyes. He's going for the stomp, the nasty, nasty curb stomp all the way into the mat. He prances away like a boss. Shao Kahn Irish whipping him over the top. Elbow. Leaps over. Oh, the DDT. Jesus under the apron. That, ooh, hurt my neck just watching it. Joker bouncing back with the kick. The knee. Catches the head for his troubles. Not many men can actually, you know, go toe to toe in competition to show up on, especially when it comes to this thing. You got out front him. As he lifts him up and oof, just slams him down with a beautiful urinagi. Oh, with a leaping knee. As now calling him to his feet for a choke of some sort. Oh, the elbows. As he tries to jump for an of his own, Shao Kahn leaps out the way. But, oh, catches him with the sister Abigail. He goes for the pin twist. Oh, but not even a one count as Shao Kahn kicks out. He gives him an elbow back. He's going to have to do a lot of damage to keep the Emperor of Outworld down. As he is, uh, oh, knee Shao Kahn in the, oh, but, but, oh, nice. Countering all of Shao Kahn's offense, he is just terrified as one throw could be the end of the match as he tosses him over the ropes. Grabs him and goes for yet another DDT to the apron, Jesus. If his neck isn't broken by the end of it, it'll be a damn miracle. 
catches that kick though. Ooh, nice Polish hammer to the face. I don't know why that exactly means a uh, nationality on it, but there you go. Oh, Shao Kahn catches him with the choke. This could be it. This could be it. And Jared Leto's Joker is eliminated. He has weaseled his way for the last time as Shao Kahn proceeds. Right, and this one is beginning now. White Ranger versus Kane. One of the Guardians of Hell. Bigger's favorite, I would say. Although, after stealing Satan's spot to get into this one, I don't think he's so much his favorite. Ooh, so both on the right ranger. The ball going to contain. Nice kick from the right ranger. Oh! Very nice pump kick to the face. Pump back kick right to the face. Oh, the kick. Oh, and the spin around with the roundhouse and now stalking him. He's going to run, swoop in. The tornado kick right to the face of Kane. And he's down. The one, the two, the kick out. Very quickly, within two minutes, he was looking to secure a victory. That is how confident he is with his martial arts ability. He defeated quite the opponent of Darth Maul. He's often been known to leave his own syndicate, of course. Oh, Kane going for the choke slam, but no. Gets his elbows for a struggle. Picks him up. Ooh, very nice slam there. Ooh, and the judo throw. You know, Kane has him. Will he finally hit the choke slam? He does. Is it enough to keep the ranger down? And he kicks out. Everyone on the edge of their seat, gripping their nails. They're fighting in gripping their seats, gritting their teeth. His right ranger seems to be back in control of this one with a ooh, beautiful corkscrew moon salt to Kane. And the punch combo that Kane turns that. Oh! Back and forth. Throws white ranger back into the ring. Head scissors, hair karana, and the moon salt. Standing moon salt. It's Kane just gets up like the Terminator. Oh, yeah, came on the shoulder. No, KKO. Go for the pin now. The one, the two, and the kick out. What does the ranger have to do to keep the keep the cane down? Take him to the ropes. Throws him on the outside. What's he thinking here? Good for the run. The dive all the way to the outside. Very beautifully executed. That is exactly what he was thinking, folks. 
Very beautiful. Back and forth as he throws Kane to the ground. Tries to lift Kane up, but Kane brings him back down, picks him up for his own huge power slam to the outside. Jesus. Gets tossed back into the ring. Kane now stalking him with his arm raised. Huge. Has him by the throat. Can he get the choke slam? Can this be it for the White Ranger? Kane's going for the pan. This could be it. One, two, and the kick out. Kane can't believe it. Got him going for it. I'm on Plot Allied. It's applied. Will Kane tap? Will Kane be able to get out of this brutal, vicious hold? He lets him go. And now he is stalking him for that beautiful tornado kick. There it is. It connects. Square on the face of Kane. This could be lights out for the big red machine as it's one, two, and three. The White Ranger continues. Alright, and the ring has the bell is sounding. Oh! He hits him with a huge flying kick. Misses the drop kick, however. Chow Khan hits the Close line. Oof. Oh, and another close line. Oh, and a kick with the Power Ranger boosted up. And oh, nice pump kick to the face. Shao Kahn going for that clothesline, but now he has Shao Kahn roped, throws him back, keeps up, ooh, that knee right to the chest. Shao Kahn deadlifts him up, huge sit out, power bomb goes for the good ball, but the kick out. The knee. The kick. Oh! Roundhouse. Spinning roundhouse. He is now on the ground. Now dragging the Emperor to the middle of the ring. He's now kicking away. Ooh, and the elbow to the face. Now, satisfied enough. He is going to hit that tornado kick right on the mush. Will it be enough? Two minutes into this thing, first pinfall, first serious pinfall results in a two count, very near. He has to do more damage to keep the upper down. This man is looking to add another huge title to his mantle. And what's bigger than King of Hell? As he stomps away with the right hand. Oh, with the leaping knee. Now the pinfall. Two count. Oh, has he now for the choke? Choking the life out of the White Ranger. What will the Ranger do? He punches him. It's enough to break it up. Now hits him in the gut. Has him. Throws him to the outside. What they thinking? Another dive. 
the people chanting, this is awesome, there it is! Beautifully applied, huge dive. Helped him very much against his last match. Maybe it'll be a difference maker as he lifts him up and slams him down. His move set very first set targeting both the head and the body. As you see, he attempted a leg kick, but was denied. Shao Kahn hits him with a headbutt. Oof, what a power bomb by right ranger. As he throws him, but he beams off the apron. He brings up to a count of ten as he throws him back into the ring. Ooh, kick to the face. Leaping knee. Vintage Shao Kahn is with the one and the two and the kick out. Now he's going for the choke, but no, elbow. Oh, with a fine kick connect. Falcon's getting up to his feet as the White Ranger leaps, misses the drop kick. Can I spin up and down with the surprises? Gonna feel good night for Scorpion, but also a bittersweet one as he did not even make it to the second round. White Ranger is giving Shao Kahn the business outside with that combination. They were just kind of tossing to the wind. And now Shao Kahn getting up to his feet. He's going for the kick. And now has him by the scruff of the neck. Throws him into the steps. Oh. Picking him up again now. Oh. Now, lifts him up for Uranagi. Now the White Ranger appears to be a little disoriented. Now he's stalking him for a choke. Choking him now. Could this be the end of the White Ranger? But he releases him. As he catches him into a suplex. Finishing his pain. Just pain resistance. Now he clubs him. Another one. As he picks him up, slams him. He has now entered beast mode. He is ready to finish this match. And this man, as he hits the jumping knee. It, it, two, the three. Shao Kahn versus Chris Jericho is the main event of the evening.
going on? What's happening? His song suddenly stopped. Jericho up to this. Of course, it seems that the champion has commandeered the sound system and got tired of hearing Shao Kahn's tired ass theme. returning to hell with that title it'll be Jericho or Shao Kahn who will then be the governor of two rounds that could be dangerous Jericho starts off quickly with a running bulldog Shao Kung goes for the clothesline, but Le Champion is very quick, very deadly, but catches the German suplex for his troubles. Ooh, and a kick to the back, but apparently that just makes Jericho stronger as he leaps around for a neck breaker. Oh, going for the lion salt off the rope. Picking Shao Kung up. Elbow. Does not get the second one. Oh, but catches that hip toss. Beautiful hip toss by Jericho. Going for a pinfall. One. And the kick out. Oh, and Shao Kahn kips up like a boss. But Jericho snap him down. 
And now has him in a nice chin lock. Trying to squeeze the neck of Shao Kahn. And Shao Kahn getting back up to his feet. Elbows to the midsection. Oh, with a huge vicious boot. Signature Shao Kahn maneuver as he gets sweeped right off his feet. Oh, but catches him with a pop-up power bomb. That doesn't feel good. And the jumping knee to boot. And now calling Jericho to his feet. He has him by the throat, choking him, choking the life out of him. Could this be the end of the champion? Could we see the title change hands? Jericho fights back. Sweeps him off his feet. He's going for the walls of Jericho. Locked in. Shao Kahn struggling, wrenching it in right on that back. Shao Kahn flips him over. Jericho versus nice uppercut. Ooh, goes for an attack, but bounces off of Shao Kahn. Nice punch, though. Oh, with a code breaker. And Shao Kahn appears to be writhing in pain, trying to get him up to his feet. Toss, down, oh, leapfrog, leapfrog again, and the mind games of Jericho continues, starting off with cutting off his entrance, by the way, if anyone is wondering who does our amazing theme song for tonight, it is Fire by Farewell to Fear, so check them out, they're pretty good. Jericho going for the dive into the barricade. Shove Shao Kahn right into the barricade. Jericho needed that huge comeback as the crowd chants away. This is awesome. And now he throws Shao Kahn into the ring. Now going up top. Going for a huge moonsault but catches the knees. Gotta watch out for Shao Kahn's deadly ass knees. Oh, catches Shao Kahn, going for it, trying to get him, trying to get him over, going for the walls. He's got at least one leg locked into the walls. Doesn't quite have both locked in. His arm looks to be trapped under his leg, giving Shao Kahn the chance to easily slip out of it. Jericho nailed him with a beautiful clothesline in the back of the arm. Now Jericho going for the Lion Tamer. Ooh, wrenching it in. Knee into the back of the neck. Wrenching it in. Will he tap? And he has tapped. And Le Champion retains. Jericho is still the king of hell. Champion retains. And that concludes our pay per view. Thank you for watching and catch us here next week for another edition of Fight TV.